U2 bought some titanium dioxide just because it was cheap only to find out it's pretty reactive stuff. Have a bag of it sitting around somewhere in your reagent stash gathering dust. Wait no longer, because I've got you covered. In no time you'll be doing real titanium chemistry with nothing more than some ammonia and concentrated sulfuric acid. Warning, the experiment shown in this video uses harmful reagents. The time to do the reaction is also much longer than initially described. Hello everyone, after making green and blue phosphorescent materials I've been trying to make red ones too, but this video won't be about this topic as I haven't succeeded yet. Rather, this video is about making what reagent I need to make these phosphorescent materials, metatitanic acid. Now, you don't see titanium chemistry very often on YouTube, and it's probably because titanium is most easily found in the form of titanium dioxide, which is quite unreactive. The titanium atom holds so tightly to its oxygen atoms that they can be removed only with extreme chemical force. The procedure I am following is described in a thesis I found online, and is actually a preparation for titanoxin nitrate, but it can be adapted to make metatitanic acid by simply skipping the last step. To start, prepare a beaker with a stir bar, and to it add 0.45 grams of titanium dioxide. Then add 0.4 grams of ammonium sulfate. Finally, add 12 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid. It is now time to add the secret ingredient that for this reaction is time. Said in other words, heat and stir the mixture for a total of 33 hours at 200 degrees hot plate temperature. I actually turned off the hot plate during the night for safety reasons and the reaction still worked, although it needed even more time. Eventually, almost all of the titanium dioxide should dissolve, leaving only tiny white residues stuck to the bigger sides. With the titanium dioxide I bought from eBay, even if listed as 99% pure, the solution color was brown, while other references, such as Brower, state that it should be colorless. Most likely, my titanium dioxide was not as pure as advertised. The acidic solution is then diluted by pouring it in a large beaker with 150 ml of the ionized water. We then need to bring the pH uh, neutral by adding around 30 ml of 25% ammonia. Check with the pH paper in order to add the correct amount of ammonia. Our metatitanic acid forms as a fluffy whitish water insoluble material. After the solution is left overnight, it actually looks like a cloud in a beaker. Filtration is the next step to remove the ammonium sulfate. Initially, I tried gravity filtration, as I was concerned that the precipitate would clog my vacuum filter and be almost impossible to clean, but that turned out to be a bad idea, as gravity filtration proceeded extremely slowly. I thus made a quick check to see how easily soluble was the product in sulfuric acid, and it turns out, unlike the started titanium dioxide, metatitanic acid is readily soluble. With a cleanup solution available, I attempted vacuum filtration and it went very smooth, so this is the approach that I recommend. The precipitate was washed multiple times with the ionized water, and upon drying formed a compact filter cake that was very easy to remove. The fritter glass funnel was later cleaned with some sulfuric acid, and turned out as good as new. The filter cake was left to dry for three days, and unexpectedly it shrunk considerably and changed color to brown, 
also it was as solid as glass. The shrunk filter cake was finally crushed with a mortar and pestle. Final weight is 0.54 grams or a 99% healed. Uh, 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 uh,